Man of the match Gary Buckley celebrates after scoring Cork City's fourth goal. Source, Tommy Dixon, INPHO Cork City 4 Bray Wanderer 0 Paul Dollery reports from Turner's Cross Cork City maintained their 100% home record in the SSE Air Tricity League Premier Division this evening with a routine victory over bottom club Bray Wanderers. In front of an attendance of 4,070, goals from Jimmy Keohane, Sean McLaughlin, Graham Cummins and Gary Buckley ensured that the defending champions made it 8 wins for made at Turner's Cross in 2018. Second place, City continue to trail leaders at Dundalk by two points but the Leesiders do have a game in hand over their rivals from Louth. Bray were unchanged from their 2-2 home draw against Waterford on Monday. The City team showed two changes from last weekend's stalemate in Derry. Connor McCarthy returned in defense in place of Alan Bennett, while Kieran Sadlier started in a wide attacking role at the expense of Carl Shepard. Jimmy Keohane gives City the lead. Source, Tommy Dixon, INPHO in an opening half that lacked intensity, the home side were in front after just three minutes. Barry McNamee's pass split the Bray defense open and Keohane poked the ball beyond Evan Moran. The champions were in the ascendancy throughout the first half. McNamee and Kieran Sadlier both had shots on target which were comfortably saved by Moran. McNamee also saw a shot from just outside the box narrowly missed the target after Kevin Lynch coughed up possession cheaply. Bray gradually played their way into the contest, with Gary McCabe central to most of what was positive about the Seagulls. His long-range free-kick kept City goalkeeper Mark McNulty alert, before two separate dead ball deliveries from the ex-Shamrock Rovers man found the head of Sean Heaney, who was unable to direct either effort on target. McLaughlin headed wide from a sadlier corner on the half-hour mark, but the young defender doubled City's lead just before the break. McNamee's corner was headed back by Buckley towards Cummins, whose flick on fell into the path of the 21-year-old center half, who finished emphatically with a half volley. Lynch surged forward and had a decent attempt to pull a goal back for Bray on the stroke of halftime. His powerful shot from 25 yards stung McNulty's fingertips, but the city goalkeeper reacted swiftly to gather from the rebound. Cork City's Kieran Sadlier and Dylan Hayes of Bray Wanderers battle for possession. Source, Tommy Dixon, INPHO John Caulfield's side were handed a glorious chance to increase their lead just three minutes after the restart. Bray goalkeeper Moran was robbed of possession by Sadlier after failing to control the ball on the edge of his box, but with an open goal at his mercy, the former Sligo Rovers winger lifted his shot over the crossbar. City's third goal did arrive in the 64th minute, however, and again Moran will feel he should have done better. His attempt to punch away a sadly across resulted in the ball falling to Cummins in the six-yard box, leaving the striker with a simple task to score his ninth of the season. McNulty had to make a good save to deny Corey Galvin a goal against his hometown club, before City's fourth arrived in the 75th minute. Substitute Carl Shepard crossed from the right after engineering an opening with some trickery, allowing Buckley to cap an impressive personal display with a goal by heading past Moran. Bray threatened in the final minutes as City were forced to play with 10 men after Connor McCormick picked up a knock when all three substitutes had already been used. Ronan Coughlin went close with the header, but the visitors, who have scored just three times on the road this season, couldn't conjure up a consolation goal. Cork City defender Sean McLaughlin is congratulated after scoring. 
Source, Tommy Dixon, INPHO Cork City, Mark McNulty, Colm Horgan, Connor McCarthy, Sean McLaughlin, Aaron Barry, 76, Shane Griffin, Connor McCormick, Jimmy Keohane, Barry McNamee, Carl Shepard, 65, Gary Buckley, Kieran Sadlier, Graham Cummins, Josh O'Hanlon, 65. Bray Wanderers, Evan Moran, Dylan Hayes, Connor Kenna, Dara Gibbons, 79, Sean Heaney, Kevin Lynch, Paul O'Connor, Dan McKenna, Daniel Kelly, Shane Flynn, 83, Gary McCabe, G.E.R. Pender, 69, Corey Galvin, Ronan Coughlin. Referee, Damian McGrath, I'm not selfish enough to win the Ballon d'Or, says Hazard Steve McLaren has found himself a job back in English football.